Hey, welcome to Wing Chun for Beginners 1. We're going to show you the first form of Wing Chun called Si Ling Tao, which means little idea or which means basic techniques. So let's get started. All right, so let's get into our starting position. Before we get into the actual Wing Chun stance, we're going to start with our Wu Chi position. All right, so this is the position you get into before any kind of um, martial arts. Most martial arts actually start in the Wu Chi position. So what this does is that it trains you so that when you're in a natural position, you're just standing around on the street or you're just walking down the street, you're not in a fighting position yet. You're just in a natural position. So we're going to start in this natural position. So what it is, is you're going to put your, your feet together. All right, they don't have to be touching. A little bit apart, maybe an inch apart from each other, your feet. Your toes should be pointing slightly in. Okay, your knees are slightly bent. So if you're dropping a little bit, you're dropping just about an inch. All right, if you move up to your uh, waist and your hips, uh, you want to tuck in your tailbone. So if you can feel your tailbone is the last bone on your spine, okay, and uh, it should be, uh, you can feel it, you want to tuck it underneath the legs like that, okay? So tuck it, and what that does is it drops this part of the spine and then it rounds out the lumbar portion of your back. Okay, so from here, you want to pull the tip of your nose and the tip of your chin back towards the back of your head so that it straightens out the upper part of your spine and your neck, okay? A common problem with a lot of people that use their cell phones a lot, they're going to do this with their hair, they're working on the computer, they slouch, and this happens to their posture. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but you can see a lot of people have this problem. So what you want to do is practice to pull the tip of your nose and your chin towards the back of your head. And now that lengthens and straightens out this part of your spine. All right. The next part is to pull um, the top of your head up towards the sky. So imagine there's a string that's hanging your head from the sky. Okay. So you have your chin and your nose tucked in and pulled in. Now you want to lengthen it even ever so slightly. Imagine your whole body is hanging and suspending from this string. All right. Now you want to also drop your shoulders, relax your elbows and your fingers and your hands. All right, so from the front, let's start over. Feet together, toes pointing a little bit slightly in, not too much. Then you want to drop it a little bit, your knees. Then you want to tuck in your tailbone, all right, suck in your gut, and then pull in your tip of your nose and your chin, and then suspend from a string from the sky. So once you drop a little bit more, you feel that your whole body is just suspending from the sky. Okay? Uh, and then your arms are relaxed beside your body. Your eyes should be looking to, into the distance, a little bit slightly down, and into the infinite distance. Your, um, your focus should be relaxed, and your eyelids should be slightly relaxed and slightly closed. Okay? And also, your tongue should be touching the roof of your mouth right behind your teeth. That's why you want to place your tongue. Okay, so just relax in this position and this is your starting Wu Chi position.